All right, so I know a lot of us do some ratcheting sometimes, and I always see people tie it around after they're done. So I'm gonna just show you a nice, simple, clean way to do this. Always do your open end first, if you have a ring. All right, and when you do this, you wanna put it on top of the wheel. If you've got an open wheel, if you don't, you're gonna use a suspension piece. But you wanna come up here, so that when it is pulling, it's pulling down on the on the car so that it doesn't roll forward. If you're here, it has a liability to roll backwards. Come in, make sure you're always clean. All right, your ratchet. Everybody does this differently. I'm just gonna show you my way, that's all. There's no wrong or right way to do this. Everybody's got their thing. I'm just gonna show you a clean way to do this so that when you're driving and you see your mirrors, you can see your line if anything's coming apart, all right? So with the way this is designed, all right, I have a hook here. On this trailer, I got these outside hooks. Some trailers have D-rings, all right? So you're gonna have a different set. So instead of coming in like this, all right, do one twist like that. You're gonna take this, come in, and then come right back through here. All right, come right back through. All right, what that allows you to do is pull tension on it. All right, now you can unlock this. You're gonna get a couple clicks. You're gonna take this opened end. You're gonna put it right into here. All right, now let's get this tight because we're actually towing it. All right. Now you're gonna loop this in, click. Now that locks when you push it down. All right, so now while I'm driving, if this comes apart in here, you know, because maybe the car bounced or it shifted and moved, all right, this will actually come out and start flapping. Now I can see in my mirror that this may have come loose. Or if some, someone's driving next to you and they see this flapping, they may actually pull up to your window and say, hey, you know, something is going on in the back, All right? But it's also a lot cleaner to do it this way. And these lock. So you're gonna pull that through, go down until it locks. It, this won't come up now, all right? A lot of people just either leave them, they don't push them down all the way, or they take all this ex excess rope or whatever and start tying it around this. First of all, it's messy, time consuming, and just annoying when it comes to getting it all done if it's tightened up. Also, if that comes loose, this tie won't let you know that something came loose, especially if you're looking in the mirror, if someone's driving by, no one's gonna know because everything's all tied up in a knot. That's not gonna save this car from rolling off the deck, all right? But at least I have you know, backup safety if this comes undone. I drove 3,000 miles across country this way. I never had to touch this. All right. So this is the best way to do it. Always make sure you pull away from the D-ring so that there's pressure pulling down. There's no way this car can roll forward now. All right. So that's just my simple way of keeping it clean and for safety. All right. There you go.